Hi everybody, it's James here from the Anvil again. I hope everybody is having a really good weekend. We've had the Euro draw today with England facing Slovenia, Denmark and Serbia in its group. Um, we've also had some decent Premier League action today. Declan Rice has faced against Craig Dawson with Arsenal going up against Wolves. It's two former West Ham players who were very well loved going up against each other. So it's really hitting in the fields seeing that picture. We have to get away from Arsenal and Wolves because we're not here to talk about that in this video. We, as in me, I'm here to talk about the preview for Crystal Palace. Another uh, London derby. We actually have th at least three in the month of December because we've got to play Spurs, Fulham, Arsenal in the same month. So we've got a lot of short trips around the capital coming up, which is good for the fans. It's not a lot of money spent on travelling, really. It's also good for the spice that kind of gets into that game. You know, a little bit of that spicy return feeling that players will get coming back to West Ham, especially when Arsenal come. And we get that buzz as well. It's 23 days to go until Christmas as well. Just thought I'd throw that in there for no real reason. Facing up against the Crystal Palace side that will not have Eze or Ducure for Sunday. It's a side that's won once in its last five games with one win and five losses, including a 2-1 defeat away to Luton Town. I know South Coast Palace, Steve, was calling for Roy Hodgson to be sacked after the loss against Luton. Um, Palace is 13th in the league, but it's not looking very promising. When you don't have a player like Eze, i.e. an engine and a creative player in the team, it really can hurt things up. They have signed players like Jefferson Lerma, but he's not really an attacking midfielder. And they have Machos Franca, who was a highly rated Brazilian football talent. He's not really getting a hell of a lot of game time either. Um, we have had difficult games against Crystal Palace last season. We lost 4-3 and 2-1 against them. And the 2020 20, 20, season? Yeah, it was. Haller scored that over a kick and then Suchek had that brace. And with him in fine goal-scoring form right now, I do expect him to get another brace, in all honesty. I've kind of been thinking about that going into the game. Um, they're a team that like to score late winners against us, as of we right now. So instead of there being an amazing goal, like an Andy Cowell or Haller over a kick, there's probably going to be a late-minute winner. You know what I'm saying? So I can expect that to happen in this game. Players I would look out for, regardless, Sam Johnston's actually been an alright goalkeeper for them, even if they've been quite leaky at the back. Yoki Anderson's a decent defender, really. Michael Elise has been their major attacking threat in the absence of Eze, and he's scored against Luton recently. Um, I do like Tariq Mitchell. I think he's a decent player on his day. And, you know, they still have some good players but it's not to the degree that I would expect really right now because of the injuries. As for a player who played for both, obviously Tonka, James Tompkins did. Uh, right back who played for West Ham for since coming through the academy and then joined Crystal Palace after he left us. As for my score prediction, I'm going to say 2-1 to West Ham because we don't keep clean sheets and 2-1's only fair. I think we're going to play... Suchek goal, bingo. I'm going to go the 48th minute. What are you saying? He's scoring. Bet any money on it. 